Hi guys, hope everyone's doing really, really well. Please mind how tired I look. I am absolutely shattered. And I'm so, so sorry, but there is another Heron food tour, mainly because I went to my brother's birthday meal and then my mum was like, oh, are you going near Heron anytime soon? And I was like, probably not, mum. She was like, oh, it's all right. You've got the cheese boards in. Now, I've seen them in the Heron I've been going into anyway. So I said, it's all right, I'll go and get you one. But I also need to go get some ham because I've had my 20 week scan today. Baby is so healthy, everything's going really good. Um, apart from my placenta being in the wrong place, but it'll move eventually, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, so we have got a Heron Foods one. So I'm gonna show you what I've managed to get. I'll start with these. These are £1.25 for eight yogurts, and I think that's really good value considering Activia is normally through the roof, isn't it? You get two raspberry, two peach, two vanilla, and two strawberry. And they've got quite a big date on, really, considering the, the price of them. These have got another week on them. So, again, I think that's really, really good. I've got these for work. So these are just microfiber cleaning cloths. I told one of my workmates that I'd get some microfiber cloths for her. So I picked up them. They were only a pound, which I didn't think was bad. I got some chocolate twist Baileys. Now these are going to be a present for Ben's man, I believe. So I've got some of them. I think they were two pound for Dan. So sorry, we got interrupted. My daughter's Santa letter's just come through the post. Now, there's a website. I'll see if I can find the website. I'll link it in the description box down below. But it cost me $7.99 for this Santa letter. And it's got like paragraphs of like writing. You can change bits in. You can add names. You can add your where you live and all sorts. So it makes it really, really personalized to you. So obviously when your child's reading it, they're like, you know, Santa knows where I live. Santa knows this. Santa knows I want roller skates for Christmas because that's what she wants. So to me, I just thought $7.99. Because normally every single year we do the Royal Mail thing where we'll send a letter out to Santa. And, you know, he responds in such an amount of time. This year we haven't been able to do that. You know, and I'll be honest, I don't really trust Royal Mail at the moment. The amount of late parcels or whatever that we've been receiving is a joke. Like that blue box over there, I ordered that from Udi, from Ben. Now, I got him the Mandalorian weighted blanket thing, which was nine kilogram, and the Gengar Udi. So it was on Black Friday, so you know, and it was like 60, up to 60% off. But the Gengar Udi cost me £60 and I think it was £70 to £80 for the weighty blanket which, you know, is a lot of money. And then I ordered it on the 7th of November and the, I only got told there was delays about the Gengar Udi and that was because of popular demand. Which I think fair enough, you know, but they told me that I was going to be shipped by the 16th. So, okay, fair enough, fair play. I then emailed them after I'd received the Gengar Udi, which was about the 20th of November. And I said, like, look, I've had no thinking about delays or anything on the weighted blanket. I should have received it by now. It's been like three, four weeks near enough because I'd messaged them in at the start of December. So I was like, can you just explain to me what's going on? I messaged them three times through email. I sent him a message on TikTok, which still hasn't been answered. I sent him a message on my father's Twitter thing. Honestly, the amount of times they've ignored my comments is a joke. They did finally respond saying, I'm so sorry, we don't know what's going on. We'll investigate further for you. Now, just before they'd sent that email, I got an email saying that it was being shipped out. So to me, it seems like they'd forgot that this parcel was waiting. So rather than just saying, I'm so sorry, there's been a delay in there. 
one of the things I forgot, supplies I forgot to ship it out, we're shipping it out today. I don't know why, but they felt the need to lie to tell me that they didn't know where it was and that they were going to send an investigation out. And then a couple of days later, it turned off. So, I don't know. Normally, they're very, very good, aren't they? And I know what time of year it is, but it took me, I think it was five and a half, six weeks to get one blanket that was in stock, which isn't good when they have only told you about delays about one of the items, which, you know, fair enough, you expect a delay on the one that you've been told about. But when you haven't been told about any delays and they're still selling the same product now and giving you a three to five day estimate for delivery, do you know what I mean? It's a bit frustrating, but it's all got now. That's uh, Ben's Christmas presents. I also got him something from Scentsy, which is a website where they sell wax warmers, fan warmers, uh, plugins. They do such good stuff. Do you know what? I never actually haul any of the Scentsy stuff on here, so the next time I place an order, I will show it on here. But this was my granddad's one before he'd passed on. So this is a watercolour one, so you can turn it on and then you come with these wax melts. They aren't the greatest with like just ordinary wax melts, they melt better with the actual products, don't get me wrong. And they can be a bit pricey, but do what I do and shop in the sale. Ben wanted this Mandalorian warmer that they were doing for ages, he's got the Boba Fett one. Um, but the Boba Fett one come after the Mandalorian. Now it was like hundred and twenty nine pounds for this warmer. So I said to him, "Oh, but you know, just see." But then it completely disappeared off the website. But I think it was a Black Friday sale. It came back on, and it cost me twenty seven pound instead of one hundred and twenty nine. So I obviously brought it, didn't I? I got a couple of pods. Um, like pods things where they're like fan base so you put them in and it like circulates all through the house if that makes sense so i got them i think they were about three four pound but again i know that sounds expensive but they are really good quality and they last you age but anyway i got completely sidetracked there uh, i'll carry on talking about what i've got so we got ben's nan this set as well so this is a Bailey's miniature bottle. You get a decorated glass and then you get some chocolate truffles on the inside of that. Now that was for $4.49 or $4.99. So just some like little gift ideas, you know. I have got these, they used to do called Choco Flakes or something. And Scal used to be obsessed because it was Peppa Pig. Now Scal at the moment is obsessed with Cocoa Pops and these are Cocoa rocks pops whatever choco pops cereal but it's by peppa pig so she's gonna go crazy because she's gone back into the peppa pig phase at the moment which i don't know if we're going forwards or backwards with her but you know as long as she's happy but they were two pound 25 and i know you're probably thinking jesus christ but you think about it a lot of these Kellogg's ones are the same price so to me she might as well be happy with the fact that he's got Peppa Pig's face on. Here is the long awaited cheese board that my mum wanted. They've got an offer on in, in there at the moment, £15. I think you get like a turkey, you get like all your bits to go with it. And that's obviously your Christmas meal, but you don't get any pudding, I don't think. I think pudding's extra. But you get all like your trimmings and that, your meat. And I think it's only £15, which isn't bad. If there's only a couple of you, and you know, rather than spending over the odds, yeah, it is frozen, but you think about it, it's all frozen from fresh. So, you know. Anyway, he said, like, do you mind picking me one of these up? So you get a chocolate orange one, which is Wensleydale. You get a cheddar cheese, which is apple, onion and sage. You get a smoky cheddar. You get Wensleydale with cranberries and double Gloucestershire with onion and chive. So they are £7, but you get this board with them as well. And you think about it, you know, two or four. Even if the the cheese were two quid each, two, four, six, eight, ten. That's like ten quid direct on cheese alone, do you know what I mean? 
So I think it's really good price because let's face it, you don't get cheese for a quid anymore, do you? I also brought these because when I'm not in a fruit juice sort of mood, I'm also in a milkshakey sort of mood, but not like your traditional milkshakes, just like fridge and things like that. So I got these because these look rather intriguing. These are called Choc Mint and they say that they're limited edition. I don't know when they expire because I think the labels don't tell you oh hang on they're on the lid february and these are two for a quid and then i've got this two-in-one non-bio ylang bliss ylang i don't know how you say that however you say that please pronounce it for me in the comments down below uh, but yeah so that's that one and then last but not least apart from the bag I got some crumbed ham for 189. I didn't know if we got any ham in and rather than coming back home to check if we've got ham, I might as well just buy the ham, do you know what I mean? It'll get used. So yeah, all that came to checking the receipt has she. I think it was £22 something. Which you think about it, you know, I've got a cheese board, cereal, gifts, milkshakes, yogurts, washing powder, ham. I think that was rather good little haul there. I will just say as well, because so many of you are asking me about updates about baby, like what's going on in my life. On this video, in the comments, if you've got any questions for me, whether it be about the baby, about me, about Ben, about Skylar, about the house, about work, about anything, what's my favourite colour, you know, what do I do on me, my weekly nights in, and Whatever you want to ask me, leave in the comments down below and I will do a Q&A for you very, very soon. I have got work on tomorrow night. Oh dear, that came round fast, didn't it? I'm at work all day on Thursday and then I do work on a Friday as well. So over the next few days, just give me time. I will respond to you guys, I promise. But just give me a little bit of time to actually reply to you. But anyway, I hope everyone's doing really, really well. If you do like my content, guys, please press the like button, share with your friends and family, and please keep on watching. Bye, guys.